missed it. So sorry for the echo. I don't know whether this has subtitles. No, we're not doing credits. Oh, it's fine. I'm pretty sure it does. <coughs> um, we have played this before actually, uh, on Twitch one time, but I didn't export it to YouTube, so we're playing through it again. Um. So, for anybody that's not seen Franbo, this is Franbo, a new journey for you and visiting an old friend, I suppose, for me. So, uh, this is all about a girl and her cat, Mr. Midnight, and, uh, this is a story, and then um, afterwards we can go to Little Misfortune, which I've not played before. So that'll be nice. It'll be different. So, hi, I'm Squishy British, because I always forget to introduce myself during these streams. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a new game. Yeah, I know it's got an auto save feature. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom, screaming. And my dog yapping. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go, I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please, don't. Mommy? Daddy?
friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two, three. That's my mum just coming back. <laughs> so awkward timing, but hey ho. Fran, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Hi. How I'm I'm alright. How how are you? I'm I'm better. I have a a decent voice, so we're, we're gonna try. See how we go. My dog has been yapping because my mum's just come back home. So that's just like ruined the introduction. But never mind. Try to calm down. This is a part of your recovery. Mm. I could either be really dramatic or I could just be like, okay, I'll try. Yes. I'll try, doctor. That's a positive attitude. Is it? Maybe I'm not crazy at all. We don't use the word crazy here. But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? See, the desk. There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Okay. It's a little purse. This was my mother's purse. It's purse. Open it. There's something inside. There we go. I forget how it works sometimes. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you liked so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you liked to examine and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it to all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. I'm worried too, because I'm not crazy and I'm still here. Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. Can I go to my room now? Thanks. Um, I'm doing great. Your your boy. He's doing well. He has some. He has some friends. I got him some friends recently. Um, I have a, a lap press now, and uh, I have a side duck. <laughs> yeah, friends. <laughs> They're not on the, the same table, they're on my um, bookshelf, but he has friends now. <laughs> See, the thing is, I don't have enough space on my desk to have all of them on there and Bulbasaur's always been on my desk and if I put the other two on my desk um, I'm afraid that they're gonna get watercolour marks on them and I don't want to like get water ma watercolour marks on them too so I want to like try and save them <laughs> they're, they're doing fine they can they they can chat 
It's fine. He ha he has like telekinesis, so it's fine. <laughs> No. Their friendship is great. They're doing well. Everything <coughs> is hunky, hunky dory. And I'm not bullying. They're they're happy in the positions that they're in. One is next to an anime figurine, so you know that uh, Psyduck's doing pretty well for himself. Okay. Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. I'm not. Anything new today, Dr. Dean? And they're just like the same as always. Nothing actually, same visions as before. I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't wanna. <laughs> but I have to. I don't feel good. No, take her back to her room. A nurse, don't let her ever take this again. Beware from bow. <coughs> if you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Chapter one. We're going sober. We're off medication. <laughs> I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to guess how it's of here. Apples. Franbo, Return. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The treatment. Dr. Marcel Dean has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Clown. Locked. Infamous. Fallen off. We've got a hook. <coughs> oh, sweet, sweet melody. Oh, red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. 
I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He finds... Because he is afraid. Oh, he hides. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Will it though? It's just the, it's the view from outside. Tower defenses? My legs are just fine. Boarded. Empty bottles, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels, towels, towels. Don't need towels. It's a little bit on the chest. Okay. There. Fillmore, age eight. The patient came to <coughs> Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Brunstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia is not yet di diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dean. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Every everybody says I'm, I'm sick. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games, and no one will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Hello, nurse. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Oh, I forgot something happened. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtain. Accidentally. Pfft. I have to fix this. Follow me. How about we don't follow you? And I, you know. Okay, I have to follow her first. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that it holds its caught on? No. No miss. I haven't seen anything. I'll have to go find something to fix it. You a little girl. Bye. Bandages. Oh gosh. <coughs> the patient has 
Sleeping always all the time, she only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Duo Teen 8H Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficiencies in some abilities, such as trust, trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, ECD. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major me mental illnesses. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Doing the alphabet. Use. The pills. Kitty told me these would help. Bow. Get out, creepy creature. You got a little blood on your mouth. Okay. Ooh, needle. Hello, Miss Nurse. To the stairs. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more clear. Well, the reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fan's mental condition is not stable yet. You don't understand. She's a very special girl. We know. We know she's special. Ooh. Hi, Foxy.
on. There's two things that need a key. Okay, now I can combine that. Oh, do I come on over here? No. Okay. Portrait. Oh, I know. I know. We take these. And then I think you can look at this. There we go. It's the twisted version. <coughs> okay. This way. And then we use this. Ta-da! To happiness. Hi, Phil. Hi! <laughs> what was that? See them. You do, right? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh huh. I can't see them, but I know that they're there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the show. Shadows. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw them all the time. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Adelaide, seven, the patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Dr. Marcel Dean has become close through the pa to the patient through drawing therapy. She's making progress. The clown. You can see. You should play yourself. Be quiet. Okay, nothing else there. Let's go here. Bathroom. Nothing in the bathroom. The king likes drawings. King. Okay. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm. Don't try to trick me. Go back to your room and wait for the doctor. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Okay. Oh, hello. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, Fran. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any more of your excuses, young lady. I'm not making up excuses, sir. You have to listen to those who are in charge. <laughs> um, well, you missed a few things. Um, some shadows. No, no, they're fine. They're fine. A castle? What's in one? Did 
Just don't do it again, Bram. Go and eat now. And get back to bed. It is I had a um a horror game. Hold on, let me show you. There you go. Oh, I forgot. I I haven't taken the pills in this section yet. <laughs> I have to go to the other world or else I won't be able to do any progress. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Uh, Phil was here today. Keys. That's the office key. It must be, but how can I reach it? Hey, what are you looking at? The key? Will you give it to me? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. A kiss? Are you serious? And then you'll give me the key? Sure. Come here and sit on my knee. What a loser. I hope you die while a giant pineapple grows in your butt. Oh. Oh, that's not... good. How did that happen? What's that supposed to mean? I just wanted to know if you're feeling okay. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Isabel, she won't wake up. Paper. Don't trust that. You'll die if you do. Waves, they didn't work. Why is it working? Oh, I see. The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Sure.
<laughs> I know. It works, it works, it's a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great. Can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that don't work. Thank you. Bye. Okay, you ready? Pill time! Oh. Pop. Okay, we can leave now. <laughs> to the other room. Okay. Hello. Uh oh Um, they are and they aren't um, because you get items during you when you're having the pills. I mean, I suppose like the shadows and stuff you see aren't real. But like items that were there, like if you go in the real world, they're not there. Some Some of the items. So the items from the other world are real. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're well. Now carry on. Alright. I'll go play. Want some food? Got a cinnamon bun. Mm, chocolate. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Would you please kill me, please? Sure. Bang! You're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now, I'm dead. Gotta pop some pills. The nice lady stud. you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleep. Magic tricks? I didn't know. Show me. Show you? But it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Woo. Yes, the magical stuff that'll make anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing. Powerful and grand. I didn't... I'm not... I'm not comfortable when I sit properly. <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, I think we all need magical sleeping powder. How does it work? I have no idea. Yep, she's just gonna leave now. Bye.
don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. I bow to you, sir. I was having such a goblin moment before I started the stream because I forget things sometimes. Like, um, I swear I've got ADHD. And like, because I forget things <laughs> when so easily. And then I remembered I needed to take um, pictures of my art. <coughs> of my art before it got dark and so I like grabbed my folder that carries all of my watercolor stuff and um, I like got my camera bag put that on my back with the folder and like tapped my like tapped my little feet down the stairs and I was like I had a hunchback and I was like rummaging around the bottom of the house uh, I was like grabbing the flowers that I like put on the picture and <laughs> yeah I was uh, I was in full like goblin mood I was just like <laughs> I was just tapping around the, the around the house I have um, a hook, band-aid, um, what's it called? A rope from a nightdress, a picture of our family, piece of paper, um, like a treat, and a pill. And what I need to get is a crayon. That's my, my crayons. I just like this green one. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. No, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors, but do you know why? No, they don't like me to draw. Who? The nurses, they tie me up and when I want to draw, I can't. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then red milk. <laughs> then comes red milk. Look! Yay! Child abuse. Yeah, it's red milk. I got told that as a kid when I was going in for surgery. And they told me like, uh, cause it's like, um, sleeping. Uh, stuff that they put into me and it was white so they just told me it was milk and I was just like it's not milk I know for a fact it's not milk don't lie to me <laughs> please cure me yes and stop the red milk I'll see what I can do oh band-aids hold on here you go Dominion is not a <laughs> child abuse. <laughs> I was like, yeah. This is the game. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. Okay. 
We got a green crayon. And now we can use the grey crayon. Oh no, hold on. Ah, can no. It's just a grey crayon. No. I'm doing the wrong thing, so I'll combine. There we go. It's a horse in a castle. Okay. Off we go. Got that song in my brain. Alright, uh, here. Oh, he looks so happy. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now, it's yours. We have a cane. We're doing, we're doing good. What's in here again? Oh, it's the guy with the TV. Okay. I told you, the kiss for the key. What do you say, huh? Look girl, if you keep coming here, I won't be able to control myself. No, well, how about we just like, mm -hmm. no. Just use the stick. Yeah, I can reach the key now. Or do I need to like combine? Okay, hang on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm getting somewhere. Extension. I have to be with a fucking ah. Yeah, he wants a kiss. There, there's like two ways that you can do it. Um, It's a sprinkle cake now. I wanted to do the coffee. No, mm. There's two ways. You can either like sprinkle the coffee with sleeping, or you can sprinkle the cake. Eat. But eat the cake. How do I do this again? Ah! Mm, I 
done that. I'm trying to remember how we do this section because I can't remember. Why? I don't do it. This is what got me before, I'm pretty sure. But I'm in the room. And I've offered him the cake.
but I've done that. Yeah, I've got everything that I need. So why is it not doing the thing? I should be getting a scene when I'm going downstairs. Like here, the old nurse is meant to turn up, but she's not. again. But I tried doing the grab -o -matic in front of him, and I tried the bump. I had the grab -o -matic. There we go. 
Hey, hey, hey. Give me that. You can't take that key. Okay, we're fighting about it now. <coughs> but I worked so hard on it. It's my grab matic Give it back. Shut up. You don't make the rules. I do. This toy of yours will stay with me from now on. You bastard. I will get it back. I will. Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Now, hopefully, if I go back, it'll work. No? Nothing? I just freaking lose my grab and matic Yeah, I have a cinnamon bomb. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it, it'll make your life a, a bit sweeter. I don't care making my life sweeter, so now leave. So you don't want it? No, now leave me alone. What about now? I gave him the option, give me the coffee, yes. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he'll catch up soon. Hey Gladys, would you do me a favour? Sure, anything, but bring the coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself, sorry. Uh, I will take the coffee. Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. Hiya. Look what you did, you insane old. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Now I'll have to go change. God, burns like hell. Don't go anywhere. Bye. I got the grab on that, I bet. Turn off the alarm from the security panel in the reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm activates. Gossin girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Plonk. It's a happy day today.
Right. I'll keep going and going until I fall. If you struggle, you'll know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll be together again soon, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. At the end of the maze, Fran. Yes, I took the new ones upstairs. Fran Bo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to... Yeah, just a sec. What? The cellar? The key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office. He used to keep the key there. Calm down, the key isn't here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it. All right, bye. Right, I will have to go for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, so enjoy. I will be back as soon as I possibly can. People who are watching on YouTube, you can just skip the segment or I'll try and edit it out. So I do apologize and I'll be back as soon as possible.
I'm back. I've not abandoned the stream, I promise. <laughs> Ugh. I had to be outside. <laughs> Almost done with chapter one. From what I can remember. I don't remember. Oh wait, hold on. I think I remember now.
He was here after all. I take it back. Ta -da.
I'm doing math wrong. Got scared off by a toy cat.
the end of the maze, you will find the evil critters of the night. They will hunt you, they will laugh. But they but there will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Crown and a door. Curiosity be damned. Damn your curiosity. Oh, I like that I'm curious. Otherwise, how will you learn? But what are you? You're kind of curious yourself. What is the right question, but why would be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that's... key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You're very honest. I like that in a person. Fran, pleasure to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now please give me the key. Look, person Fran, we came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, then all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So you're also curious. Can I help? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Alright, do that then. But there's a problem. A filthy thief took our comb. Now we're stuck here forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you'll get the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissistic rat. He took the comb to make himself beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from the curiosity. I'll try my best. I'll be here, waiting. It's a beer. Wow, this is a really big insect. Or is it a pig? Well, it's very odd. Hello. Oh, wow, you really are a very big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Ah, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where do you come from? Oh, I escaped to the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry. But what are you doing here? My cat is out here somewhere and I have to find him. A cat, you say? Yes, sir, a black cat with very big yellow eyes, Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. 
I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen him? It happens that the cat was eaten, chewed up and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catched it. I gave it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. Blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only friend I have. Everything is wrong. Wrong. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. No, you're a murderer. I don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How can you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast. You know, maybe he can, he's still alive in the beetle pig. Should I do something like make the beetle pig vomit? Killed beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need meat. I'm curious to know if my kitty's still in there. Do it. You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio, the greatest, shall eat the meat. The poor beetle pig doesn't even get a say. That's like the most tragic thing. Oh, good joke.
I know what I need to do, but I can't remember how to do it. Ah. up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see. But that's completely normal, isn't it? Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him sp the special berries. Blueberries. Hmm? I see, but where do I find these berries then? I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir.
I always feel really bad doing this. Goodbye, beetle pig. Oh. my cat oh miss you've saved me from misery good for you but I was hoping to find someone else I assume you're feeling disappointed who are you looking for my cat my lovely cat mr. midnight oh miss I'm not very fond of cats you know a black one with big very yellow eyes was trying to catch me Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he's my cat. Tell me, where did you see him last? I can show you. Please follow me. It's not far from here. Bye, beetle pig. The beetle pig is dead now, sir. Thank you. Now we eat. I can't, just so you know, that was no cat inside the beetle pig, but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm sorry. My eyes are all very old, you see. I also have a heart problem and a very bad back. I also suffer from narcolepsy and sometimes I don't... <coughs> Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Excuse me. Did you steal the hair comb? Oh, the hair comb? The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it? Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Yeah, we can comb your hair. I'll be nice. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. Okay. Oh, did you find it already? But I have the comb. Here is your beautiful comb, mistresses. Misters. Oh, friend. The person. You finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you want to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Oh, Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. Curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Cat on my head. That's not weird in any form of way. Oh goodness, where am I?
Yep. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Yeah. Mr. Midnight. Don't be scared, I'm here for you. Pan? Is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me, come closer, please, let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I miss you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh dear, Fran. How did you find this place? After those people took you away into the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I'll open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish all this was just a bad dream. Everything's going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight, what is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? I never... It was, wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had a dream about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. 
It's great to have somebody else take care of us. Yeah? Did you hear that? Did you? Oh. I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to free you, alright? I love you. Down the steps. Hiya. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My head? My head is in the right place. It's you. The precious being from the other world. Who would have even, who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bone. That's your name, right? And your mum and dad died tragically. It was very brutal, right? And now, you really want to know who killed them, right? You're scaring me. How can you know all of this? We simply have to know. We are a part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy, you know. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain is I feel is so great, I can't see any solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but I really need to know who you told these things about me. Are you scared, little friend? <laughs> A little? It's odd the way I came here and this conversation is making me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. Yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They open the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door and that took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They lived in Min Mr. Antonio's house. They liked berries. Oh, and I saw a flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. <laughs> that was also in the woods. And now I'm here, looking for Mr. Knight. That was some adventure. How old are you, friend? I'm 10 years old, but I'm going to turn 11 soon. And you? We're 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. You 
I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around someone's house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Stop that, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies. I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a magic spell on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she had no ha ha idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be careful and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old lost body. Lost in the darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourselves. My dog trying to scare me with a bark. We can't do it. It would kill us, you see. We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people, two different bodies. But why are you like this now? One long night. One, yeah, one night. A long time ago, something appeared before us. We thought it was an angel. But it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we'll do that later when we're no longer attached to each other. And show him that he's powerless and he'll regret it. sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, you will help him. That sounds fair to me. I'll be waiting for you. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? I'm getting too ahead of myself. Hello. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. 
Molly opened the window. It's a froggy. Hey you. Yes, who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I have something to tell you. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad. And I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically return. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you the recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes, they did. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you tried to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Oh my goodness. I'll think of something else, then. I'm not a very clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Hmm. Creative. I'll try my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Now can I use the typewriter? Okay, not yet. Oh, we can go see the cat. What do I have? Go on, Fran. Please get me out of this cage. Find the key. Okay, he doesn't have anything additional to tell me.
I I know. It's saying to do this. Not to do this here, but I don't have anything to cross over the thing anymore. She'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Psst. Girl, I think you need help get rid of, of that bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. 
Trust me, if you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Draw a pentagram with ashes. Done that. Put a light. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fill a cauldron with water. Put the other elements in it. Boil. Pour over the person you want to bewitch. So we need to put salt and pepper and the rose. Look, lady, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, yeah, you say? No hair is needed. We know that. But look for yourselves. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There, now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Everything's ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. And now I'll say the words. Bonte ek dal baba hak baba de baba kartka pekka haf mandam kofum. It's a susu ek vepko. It's a say. Wait a second. That isn't the right spell. You tricked us. What have I done? Oh my goodness, this isn't right. There. I can free my kitty now. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't, the key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. I'll see if it fits there.
sister promise. We, Clara and Mia, promise to revenge the unfair destiny it would decide it for us. With blood and tears we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other. And we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live, will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe they were two different people after all. Hmm. The bed on the floor looks so familiar. I think this is the key. I, it worked. My dear kitty, it worked. Come out, let me hug you. Oh, oh this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Oh, my dear. We have to get out of here. Uh, yes, let's go. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and return to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here? I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite malleable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't need this yet, please. The bacon soda. I'm not a bakery bun. But your slimy is soft like dough. You're right. It might work. It goes. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel so gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complete. The giant toad is, toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him too much whilst we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, Kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw in you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. And this book was with it too. Oh, Toad, you found, found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book isn't mine. Oh, t well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Here we are. Jump off from me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what shall we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and real soon all scary things will disappear. <sighs> I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. I'm gonna save. There we go. Make sure. Yeah. So, I think we'll end it here because I want to have the... Uh, the cutscene before we go to the next chapter. Because I know we'll go into the next chapter once we do this section. So, yeah. We'll end it here. So then we can start with like a cutscene. So, uh. Do -do 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 -do. The main menu. Alright. Okay. So, stay squishy, stay fresh, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.